they've been waiting for the UPS guys here. <laughs> Finally. You made it. Guys, YouTube, well, my package is here. Thanks for watching. Guys, the eagle has landed. You see the guy right there running, bringing my package. Check this out. I've been waiting for it, and the time is already past 8 o'clock here. He's departing. Check this out. Let's see what we have here. Bye. Well, this is what I was waiting for. Another family. This is the Midnight Classic 200. Uh, sorry, the Midnight Classic 250. As you guys can see, and we are having the Midnight Classic 250. And this is going to add into a new project, like as I told you guys. And uh, high voltage, you got to have high voltage panels, you got to have a high voltage uh, charge controller. This uh, Midnight Classic 250 with um, 63 amps. Okay, so let's check this out. Everything looks nice, and as usual, you guys already seen a Midnight Classic, but I uh, just want to update you guys. I've owned all the classics. I've owned the 150, the 200. No, okay, let's start. I've owned the Midnight Kid, which is just new in the family, and uh, the Midnight Classic the 150 right here and the 200 and now is the 250 so guys uh there's i think there's another one here is a 250 ks i don't even know which one is that but the label here indicate the midnight classic 250 so the classic family already dealt with a lot so guys stay tuned for more and we're going to be installing this guy and test our modules the higher voltage ones and see um, I have to put because the open circuit for those panels is a 64.9 volt open circuit and I'm gonna be running I can put three panels on these ones because if it goes 64.9 um, times three it's gonna give you approximately 194 point something if I'm right if my calculation is right but uh, guys this is the classic 250 and uh, another surprise is gonna be on the way which is gonna be coming soon we're gonna be using higher um, modules for this ones which I'm gonna hide the specs from you guys but it's coming and uh, which we're going to be dealing with more than 64.9 volts which we're going to be going much higher because of this machine stay tuned i'm going to check this one and do the update of the firmware and make sure it has the latest firmware and i can able to use this uh, with a wind solar and hydro so guys right there so the classic is here all right made in the usa right there these are the originals take care guys bye for now love you stay tuned for more to come from this channel jw solar usa